Everybody. Welcome back to Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home. We're going to do another shave today, but this will be kind of a quickie. This is going to be a DE shave. And we're going to be using the Blackland Trudari. Hope everybody's doing well for a Tuesday. Tonight is TSC game night, we think. So, why aren't you there? www.theshavingcadre.com Also, as always, Nurse Dave, Major Rich, learn how to straight shave, all right up here somewhere. And then please, subscribe, right down here. Um, click on the barber pole with the cowboy hat on it. And although I can't link to them yet, make sure you check out uh, Scuttle Soap. And Bill M. Uh, on YouTube. They've got some great content as well. I didn't put a picture up for today's video. Because I want you to guess. Can you see? Here's a hint. See the brush? Can you hint? And the Blackland Chidari, this is the open comb version. Uh, of course, a remake of the original Chidari razor. And uh, this is the open comb version. It's got a Wismet blade on it. I think it's number three. A beautifully heavy razor. With just the perfect amount of aggressiveness for an open comb. What a fun, fun razor to use. And it's, it's gorgeous. As far as aesthetics are concerned for a DE razor, probably the most beautiful razor, which I do not own. But probably one of the most beautiful DE razors ever made was the uh, Darwin. Um, then I would follow that with my personal favorite, which would be the uh, number 15 Aristocrat open comb. And then, of course, followed by the Tridari. I think I mentioned this before. I had shaved with the, with the original Tridari back when it was available on a BST. Or no, actually... It was an auction item on another site, and uh, it did a, did a little bit of a pass around, and it just was incredibly efficient and felt good on the face. Um, the exorbitant prices they were asking, well, and it was an auction, so obviously the price went up, and it was the original Tridari, which is obviously unobtaining, but then I believe Sean from Blackland um, was able to get the plans and the blessing of the original uh, designer and uh, was able to reproduce this in absolutely perfect um, shape. Same weight, same feel, same aesthetics. Just real good stuff all the way around. Amazing, I was actually able to make three videos this week before I go back to the shop. For an open comb razor, this is not super aggressive. Uh, it's just about right. Not quite as efficient as a Gillette New, but uh, real close. And then, of course, the the Gillette Aristocrat 15 is what I call very aggressive for an open comb.
And then, of course, to me, the most aggressive closed comb or safety bar razor, again, also by Blackland, is the Blackland Blackbird uh, safety bar. This beast is aggressive. It's got a huge blade gap in it. And then, of course, if you want to go to true aggressiveness, then you can't beat L Shovel Head. This is a 19, uh, an Ever Ready. And look at the blade gap on that beast. And this is a fun razor to use. I don't use it that often. Maybe I'll do a shave with it next week. Um, just to see how much uh, filleting and sushi I can do. I've been pretty lucky with it lately. So have you guessed the soap yet? Like I said, there's a hint on the brush. Put your guesses in the comments. I mean, I'm going to tell everybody anyway here in a minute. But see if you have the guess before I tell you. This razor has never failed to give me just a, a tremendous, tremendous shave. It's always nice. And usually doesn't require that much um, cleanup. Maybe a little bit of buffing in the neck area, but that's about it. And this again is like a very heavy 8 8 razor. Um, you just really let it, let the weight of the, the razor follow you around because it's uh, it basically, it's, it's a beast, it's heavy. But you can just let it fall down your face at the right angles. It's funny, more, normally I'll hold onto a DE razor with two fingers, but this one's heavy and so I usually put all four fingers on it just to make sure. Just a little bit of buffing. And that's it. And as always, we'll be using Proasso alum. Hopefully the fine folks at Proasso see this. Absolutely perfection. Good stuff. Like I said, the only thing I would say, Proasso, come up with a better box. Maybe a little plastic container. This is cardboard, and after a while it gets kind of uh, flimsy, as they say. Okay, so let's go over everything we use. We use the Blackland Tridari razor in the open comb version, and this has got a Wisimet uh, blade in it. Uh, okay, here's a big reveal for what we use today. Can you guess? Yes, this is a fine uh, C20 uh, synthetic brush, and that should tell you everything else you need to know about what we use today, because for a while there, Mr. Fine, was doing matching brushes to the uh, soaps, which was kind of a cool idea. So the soap we're using today is Fine Italian Citrus. And for those of us that remember when Italian Citrus first went 
south and we couldn't find it. We waited a long time to get this. Now, this is the original version of the fine soaps, which are just tremendous. And they used to come on these bowls and they would just stack up and it was kind of neat. They had no lids on them, but you could actually use a, uh, a bean dip lid that would work, but you could just stack them up. And they all came in this, again, the, the colors of the soap uh, that came with it. That was kind of neat. We used Thayer's Lemon today, uh, again, for the uh, theme. And then, of course, the fine Italian citrus as far as the aftershave. One thing about fine stuff, very, very limited as far as the ingredients. Um, water, fragrance, menthol, that's it. And alcohol. Um, good stuff all the way around. And these were the newer bottles that they came up with, and they were awesome. Oh, really neat. I haven't purchased anything from fine in quite a while. Uh, keeping with the Italian theme today, we're going to be using uh, Boro Talco talc, Italian uh, talc. And we are going to do a little bit of EDP because I don't have a lot left. And we're going to be using uh, Aqua de Parma Colonia Intensa. It's uh, basically what the uh, Italian citrus was originally placed after was Aqua de Parma. So that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed our three videos for the week. Uh, we certainly enjoyed having you come along. Like Again, if you like what you see, just hit the like button down there. Please comment. We'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, that's our, shave for, or our shaves for this week. We hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we hope that everybody has a wonderful, wonderful week of coming. And we'll probably see you again starting on next Sunday. Uh, again, don't forget the guys up here. Uh, like them, subscribe them. Uh, support them. And again, as always, please come join us at www.theshavingcadre.com. I'm Barbara Dave, and this has been Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home. Thanks again for all of you watching, and we'll see you again real soon. Take care. Mm -hmm.